fast until one eve we saw their last allow me a moment to welcome thee i am called the grand oak sometimes the elder tree it rhymes it is a rhyming tree one can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here and unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? I am an elder oak and nothing more. Though once I dreamt of a time before, when I roamed the world and howled with pain, not of this world, but twixt and twain. Perhaps I was a spirit then, a wandering thing drawn to this glen. But then that spirit joined with a tree. Since then, a tree is all I be. Of the Sylvans, this is true. They are quite mad. Their virtues few. A spirit trapped within a tree. No mouth to scream or eyes to see. A cage of bark. A prison wood. A thing of rage where nature stood. So twisted sylvan they become. But I am not the same as some. I accept my fated oaken home. I feel no need to rage and roam. I do not know. Why dost thou not? Thy words seem plain, a mundane lot. Perhaps a poet's soul's in me. Does that make me a poet tree? <laughs> It was but a simple jest, a jibe to entertain my guest. I have but one desire, to solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out. Yet I shall die if left without. My joy soars to new heights indeed. I am reunited with my seed. This cannot pass without reward. I shall give what little I can afford. Keep this branch of mine with thee, and pass throughout the forest free. I wish thee well, my mortal friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sunlight find you. Thy days be long, thy winters kind and thy roots be. 